you beautiful people. I'm Natalie and I just started the Facebook page Compassionate Kitchen. I can't wait to put my own touch on all of the foods that I make and show you guys how easy it really really is to eat cruelty free because it's easy to cook with meat and all of that other stuff but it is so easy to cook without it too and I just cannot wait to show you guys how easy it is. So today the first recipe that I'm ever going to do on video is going to be red quinoa chili has the perfect balance of all nine amino acids that are essential for human health. That's why I love it. And not only that, it tastes the bomb. This is the kind that I use. I got it from Dylan's. You don't have to get organic, but I'll do. <laughs> so here is everything all laid out that you're going to need. Doesn't it already look pretty simple? It does. Okay, here we go. We're going to need a cup of vegetable broth, a half a cup of uncooked quinoa, some oil, two cans of diced tomatoes, and you're going to use the juice as well. We got some garlic, we got a 3 4 cup of diced onion, these are diced green chilies, some maple syrup, um, this is a half of a red pepper and half of a yellow pepper, and then we got some chili powder, some cumin, and some salt. And what kind of chili do you got if you ain't got no beans? And so these are some kidney beans, one can of kidney beans. So the first thing you want to do is rinse your quinoa. Um, you have to use a small strainer because the quinoa is little and you know if you use a big strainer it's just going to slip through. So what you want to do first is add your one cup of vegetable broth and your half a cup of quinoa into a pan and you are going to bring that to a boil which is on high. Once it starts boiling you want to give it a quick stir and then put the lid on and turn it down to simmer and you're going to want it to simmer for about 15 minutes. Now, while you're going to let the simmer, I, of course, was ready for this video because I've been excited all day. You're going to chop your onion and your peppers and you're going to open all of your cans. And if you don't have a thing of garlic like this, which is just because I'm lazy and I cook too much, you're going to chop your garlic too. So after you're done crying your eyes out from cutting up your onion, you're going to lightly grease a pan with some olive oil and I have it on medium high heat. And I'm going to add the onion and I'm going to add the garlic. You're just going to whip it round, round, round for about five to six minutes until the onions are soft and it's going to smell so good, like, all in all delicious. And then you're going to add these babies. Bye, little peppers. And then you're going to mix that around until it's all soft for maybe five minutes. Can you smell it? Can you smell the love? Nothing feels better than smelling the love. So it has been 15 minutes and I just checked the quinoa and as you can see there's still a lot of liquid in here so I'm just going to let it simmer a little bit longer. You want it to simmer until all that liquid is gone. So you're going to add one tablespoon of chili powder, two teaspoons of cumin, and a dash of salt. Just get that all up in there and whip it round round. Woo! Look at that! And you're going to stir this around for about one minute until it starts smelling really good. If you do it for too long, you're going to burn the spices, so just for about a minute. Then you're going to add your can of diced chilies. This is only four ounces, so it's real small. You're just going to mix that in there. And stir that around. I love the sizzle, baby! So after about a minute of that, you're going to add both of your cans with the juices of the tomatoes. Woo! If that ain't beautiful, I do not know what beauty is. That is beautiful, man. Mm. After you add them little babies right there, you are going to add the kidney beans. Doo -doo -doo, and mix that around. Beautiful shades of red. Next, you're going to add two teaspoons of maple syrup. This is optional, but it's good. Oops. Anyways, you get the point. <laughs> This is what the quinoa looks like. It's sprouted out a little bit. It has like white circles around it. And you are going to add this goodness to that goodness. Oh goodness. <laughs> so now that that's in there, you are just going to stir it around. Ooh, that looks so good. Not only does it look good, but it looks healthy. Ooh, I like that. All of that. So I've got this on medium high heat and I'm just going to stir it around and then let it just flavor itself out for about two minutes. And I'm probably going to add a little bit more spices just because that's what I like to do when I cook. 
So I'm just going to season it up a little bit more and then I will let you guys know how it tastes. I think I am digging this cooking show because every time I watch a cooking show I'm like just sitting there watching all these cooking shows getting all really hungry and now y'all get to be hungry and I get to smell it for real and then I get to eat it when I turn the video off. <laughs> Okay, so it's been five or six minutes and it's thickened up a bit and it smells so good. And we're about to taste it. We're about to taste test it. Don't burn your tongue, baby. See, I ain't gonna be no dumbass nigga. I'm gonna let it cool down just for a little bit. I'm gonna burn my whole face off. This is so good. It's nice and savory from the quinoa and the beans, and then the tomatoes add, like, the perfect amount of sweetness. Um, everything. Do you like it? Hell yeah. So that took me about maybe 30 minutes to make, maybe what less. What is this? It's quinoa chili, baby. Damn. <laughs> well, I had a lot of fun making this video, and I can't wait to see what it looks like. I hope that it was informative and I hope that it inspired you guys to try to make it on your own. I hope that I showed you how easy it was to make something so simple and delicious. And I hope you guys like and subscribe and follow me on everything and you know all of that shpajaji does. And um, yeah, give me some feedback. Oh, once it starts boiling, you want to. I da 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 has all of the nine essential amino <laughs> I wasn't that and then you're gonna add teeth to <laughs> next you're gonna add two tablespoons no it's teaspoon bag not because I though that's I'm not really good with technology and hey oh I missed you I missed you too <laughs> it smells good in here though <laughs>